Hey, as the NFL draft approaches coming this uh, week, I want to put a spotlight on somebody that I think we've all forgotten. That's DeAndre Francois. Remember he was the Florida State Seminoles quarterback? He was dismissed, was to go to Florida Atlantic University, but that never materialized, and he wound up at Hampton. He is a really top-flight NFL draft quarterback prospect, and he's come a long way and matured a great deal. I know some of you are going to mention that series of incidents he had with a terrible girlfriend, but investigation by both college, Florida State, and police determined that not only did he do nothing wrong, but more sinisterly, his now ex-girlfriend created a video, faked a video, to make him look like he did something he didn't do. The only reason you didn't hear a lot about it is simply because his girlfriend was black and not white. So, DeAndra, if you take a look at, at an interview on Draft Diamonds on YouTube, you'll find a young man that's reserved, well-spoken, humble, believer in the Lord, has gospel music as his favorite. He gave a really brilliant answer when asked what he would do, what app he would pick if he was stuck in an elevator. And he said WhatsApp because then he could reach out and call people, you know, make connections. So I would definitely, considering the fact that he's set a number of records at Florida State, he runs a, a four, five, six, forty. I think he's a great fourth to sixth round pick. And I believe that that fourth or sixth round pick will materialize into a performance in the NFL that's first round rated. So subscribe to Zenny62 on YouTube. And by the way, stats. When you look up his stats, note that for some particularly strange reason, the math where someone adds together all of the quarterback's career passing yards wasn't done in his case. He threw for 8,813 yards and he had 26 touchdowns his final year and a total of 63 touchdowns over his career. So his best year was his last year. He played a very effective quarterback in the Florida State dual threat run pass offense. I think if he comes into the league, he could be the next or let's put it this way, the poor person's Russell Wilson. Subscribe to Zenny62 on YouTube and bookmark oaklandnewsnow.com.